What's going on, you guys, and welcome back to the A-Ray Show. So last week, Tesla's Twitter page tweeted this out where they're basically saying that they're going to authorize additional shares in order to enable a stock split. A lot of people out there are calling this a stock split, and a lot of other people out there are calling it some dividends for Tesla shareholders. In this video, I'll break down exactly what's going on with the Tesla shares and whether or not this is going to be a positive thing for the Tesla stock or a negative thing. So if you guys want to see my thoughts and opinions and break down exactly what's going on with Tesla stock, stay tuned and you guys already know, cue that intro. So before we get started, all the articles and links used in this video will be available in the links in the description for this video, just in case you guys want to check it out for yourself. So anyways, this article from Barron's is saying that Tesla was among the handful of companies that announced a dividend move the past week, but basically they're the only company that's not paying out cash dividends. They're kind of doing it in the form of a stock split. So what the hell does that even mean? Basically what they are doing is called a stock dividend, and I'll break that down in just a second. But the important thing to note is Tesla and Elon Musk have basically announced in an interview that he will not be paying out cash dividends for the foreseeable future. And the reason for that is he believes that when a company is nearing the end of its life cycle or when it's basically matured, that's the time to give out dividends. And he believes that Tesla is nowhere near that end of the life cycle. They're still in the growth curve or basically they think that they have years to come in growth. So that's why they're not paying out a cash dividend. Instead, they're doing a stock dividend. So what is a stock dividend? Let's break it down. So in other words, basically a stock dividend is just a dividend paid to shareholders. And instead of getting cash, you are getting company shares. So instead of getting, for example, if you own Apple, Microsoft, AT&T, where they give you cash as a dividend, Tesla will be giving you some stock. So essentially, it's basically the same thing as a stock split, yet it has another name, the stock dividend. Don't ask me why, but that's basically what it is. And as this article from CNBC states, it's basically going to be a six for one split. And for that, you're going to be getting six shares for every one share that you own. And this is going to be a one time event. So basically, at the end of the day, it is very similar to a stock split, but there are a few key differences and we'll break those down. So here are the key differences between a stock dividend and a stock split. The first notable one being the one that we already talked about, where basically the dividends are issued in stock and not in cash. The second major one is in a stock dividend, additional shares are given to shareholders, whereas in a stock split, they're already issued all automatically. So that's basically the difference. And then the next main reason is for the main reason for the stock dividend is due to the shortage of cash flow in the company, whereas the main purpose of the stock split is for reducing the market price of the shares. So this will basically give a little bit more volatility to this Tesla stock, which might actually be a beneficial thing, especially with the already added volatility that comes with Tesla. So who really knows? This could either be all natural and not really have too much implications and basically feel exactly like a stock split or it could have some crazy volatility and who really knows if Tesla will run up. Basically at the end of the day, this really won't have too much impact. Basically all the shares that are issued to Tesla shareholders are gonna feel exactly like a stock split. But when it comes to a stock split and the last time Tesla had one back in August of 2020, it ran up like crazy. And the reason for that is the stock price looks so much cheaper, so much more people can buy, trade, and do options with Tesla shares. And this might add even more volatility to Tesla. So at the end of the day, this could be a win situation for Tesla where it can help the price of Tesla shares go up even more. If you're a trader, this could be a good opportunity. But at the end of the day, it really just depends on what's gonna happen. There's no way to predict it. There's no way to see if Tesla will go up like crazy. If you're a trader, it's really up to you if you're going to buy it or not. Personally, I'm just going to be keep doing what I've always been doing, and that's dollar cost averaging. I already have a few shares of Tesla, and I might add a little bit more before this split or the stock dividend, let's just call it that, is going to occur. So at the end of the day, it's totally up to you. I just think it's a unique way of doing it. It's kind of weird to me that they would do it in this form. Maybe it's because of the cash flow situation. Who really knows? But at the end of the day, it's totally up to you guys if you are willing to trade this or not. Let me know in the comments down below. And that's going to be it for this video. It's actually encouraging to see a lot of companies out there doing some form of a stock dividend or a stock split. We have Google, we have Amazon, and now Tesla. 
and even AMC and GameStop. So with that being said, that's going to be it for this video. Let me know what you guys think about all these companies starting to do some stock splits. And that's pretty much it. Peace out, guys. And remember, everybody eats.